The PlayStation Store has had some massive digital sales recently, but this one it is a monster. My name is Alex, this is PlayStation Corner, and today I'm going to be running you through 15 of my favourite digital deals covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Let's get started. It's been a couple of weeks since we've done a deals video here, we've been slammed with videos thanks to the VR2, but as always, I do have a winner to announce for a $10 PSN gift card and another one to give away to enter. Drop a comment down below and the winner, they'll be announced in next week's video. Many of the deals today then are part of the double discount sale as well, which is the price I will be using, so look to the text in the upper left of the screen as you will require a PS Plus membership to get the best price and I will be noting it there. Alan Wake Remastered drops with 56% off a new low price and I am a big fan of this game. It released originally back in 2010 and this update it's improved visuals, audio and some fine tuning around the gameplay mechanics. It's definitely not going to be changing your mind if you didn't like it beforehand. So for example, I never really enjoyed the combat and that is the same thing here. That said though, look the story here is the real winner. We are an author, Alan Wake, and we are suffering from writer's block. We decide to take a vacation to overcome this in a town called Bright Falls and that is alongside our wife. The next thing we know she goes missing and now there's a whole lot of supernatural forces to take down. Sable is an open world adventure that takes place on a desert planet. To the story, we are following the journey of a young girl named Sable as she sets out on a pilgrimage to discover who she is and where she belongs. The visuals I love, unique in design, inspired by comics, and the soundtrack it is a winner as well. Expect a little in the way of guidance in this one, it's more a game led by your own curiosity. And you'll find everything in this world from other characters to ancient ruins. The flying bike we use as well is great fun. Just a warning though, there's no combat in this game at all. It's 40% off then, that is a new low price. Need for Speed Unbound then may be a good choice for race fans. It's PS5 only, no PS4 build. It's an open world style experience where we explore and take on a different event types. Generally, I did like this one. The racing feels solid, the vent types are varied, and it's also a decently sized world as well. For some, the visuals won't work. It's a mix of realism with anime styled characters and spray paint designs, but it worked for me personally. That said, though, I will add the world can feel a little lifeless at times, and the visual effects, if they are not for you, they can be dialed back in the options. Where it misses though, the story, it's just not great. Two orphans trying to make it to the top of the race world, it is just incredibly generic. 50% off then, that is a new low price. Far Cry 6 gets a new low of 70% off. This is the latest entry in the now long running open world first person shooters. This time we find ourselves in the Caribbean and this place it's under the oppressive rule of a dictator and we of course must take them down. The story as always kind of throwaway stuff, you know it's fine but it's doing little that is new. The gameplay though I like a lot, you can play your way whether that's all out action or my personal choice that is with a stealth approach. The guns feel good, there's a nice selection of weapons generally, I think it looks great and then we even get animal companions that are under your control and they can do some serious damage. Think a crocodile which is one of my favourites. Tormented Souls is a survival horror experience inspired by the classics Resident Evil and Silent Hill. It's old school too, fixed camera perspectives, even tank controls if you do want them. The story, we receive a mysterious note from some sort of hospital it appears and it's haunting us for weeks because it contained a photo that we want to understand. Stupidly we decide to go investigate and the next thing you know we wake up naked in a bathtub and we're missing an eye. It's a bad day that is about to get worse as you get into this world and explore this location. On top of its gunplay then it packs some fun puzzles and yeah I just love the location generally. It's 56% off then and that is a new low. What the Bat is a new VR2 release, it's got a launch discount of 20% off and I just wanted to give it a quick mention, we've been having fun with it on the channel, I'll pin the live stream we did in the comments. If you want something a little easier going though, this one is creative, your arms have turned into baseball bats and now we must overcome a series of challenges. After the Fall Complete Edition also gets a launch discount as well, also VR2 and I'm really enjoying this one, it's basically Left 4 Dead in VR and if you want some co-op action this could be a good one to look to. Unlike What the Bat however, this one's a bit more intensive in regards to its motion, 
So do be aware of that going in. Overall, though, some great weapons, and I just love the frozen landscape. I'll also put the stream for this one below, but it's got 15% off to celebrate its launch. No Man's Sky is my last VR to mention, an incredible open world space exploration game. They've given it constant support since launch, and now they return, this time with a VR2 upgrade, which we knew was coming, we just didn't expect it on day one. I have still not checked it out myself, so if you've played it, let us know what you thought in the comments. I can vouch for the base game, however, it is incredible. It's 50% off then, matching the low price. Cult of the Lamb is 25% off a new low price, this one puts us in the role of a lamb who has been resurrected and we are getting revenge and also acting on behalf of evil building up a cult. It's a unique blend of mechanics this one exploration, combat and a town management. It must be a first though you know colony building alongside of roguelike action. I had a blast though building up the town, recruiting followers, making sacrifices, getting into combat. It's just got this great sense of style and humour to it all that really worked. Published by Defolver Digital as well, they just know how to spot a quality game and they have one of the most exciting libraries of games out there. Catherine Full Body is one of my favourite games, I've played every version at this point and this one, it's the latest, packing in extra story, even a new character. I do wish you could play the original build as well, but I still love this as much as ever. It's this unique gameplay loop though, we have dialogue sequences, you know, incredible anime design, but then when we sleep in game, we must navigate puzzle towers overcoming nightmares that can kill us. The story, we have a long-term girlfriend, but we have a new love interest as well, which we are torn between. The problem, men who are unfaithful in this world, they are mysteriously being killed. I'd watch a full review as there's nothing else quite like it, but 80% off, that is a massive discount, it's a new low price, it is easily worth it. Just be warned though, it's for sure an adult experience. Weird West is my pickup of the week, meaning not a recommendation, rather maybe you'll want to join me for the ride. If you've played it as well, let us know your thoughts in the comments. This one's another release from Defolver Digital, so it had to be done. It's an action RPG set in a dark fantasy, Wild West, where we battle against different evil creatures. Really not sure what to expect here, I'm thinking it's going to be packing a whole lot of combat loot and exploration, but I'm looking forward to diving in. The price as well, 50% off, we have seen it before, but it seems more than fair, you know, for a relatively new game. Disco Elysium is a masterpiece, and the final cut edition further elevated this RPG. We take on the role of a detective who is suffering from amnesia and will be out with a local law enforcement agent to solve a murder. The storytelling here, it is incredible. It's fully voice acted and the world is just as so dark. You know, no characters here are good. They are multi-leveled and you'll need to peel back all the layers. The gameplay, free exploration and then elements of D&D and character stats, dice rolls and more than a few challenges to overcome. I'd watch a full of a few personally, but it is a 10 out of 10 from me. You should just make sure it's going to be for you. It's definitely a unique experience. It's 50% off then, that is matching the low price. Lost of Judgment then is a spin-off from the Yakuza franchise, an incredible series that seems to be going now from strength to strength. I'm currently playing the new Like a Dragon Ishin and it is incredible, so I'll drop a review at some point here on the channel. This one though, I loved the first entry and this is a follow-up where we take on the role of a detective investigating a series of murders. It's the usual small open world with brawler combat but it is just so finely tuned in all areas. The combat just feels great, the world packed full of things to do from mini games to business management, and visually I do think it is stunning. It's another one that comes highly recommended from me, and this digital deluxe edition, it has a couple of expansions that adds in new items, mini games, even retro arcade games to play. It's 60% off then, that is a new low price. The winner of the week then it's going to Kabuki who highlighted John Wick Hex and the solid discounts. Congrats, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else a drop a comment down below for your chance in next week's video. Nia Automata is another masterpiece then and here we're getting 55% off a new at low price, an action RPG. What always made it so exciting to me was the constantly changing gameplay and also the perspective alongside them enemies that often display bullet hell like tech patterns. The story, it's a dystopian world we are fighting back against a mysterious invading race but it gets incredibly detailed. 
Don't want to give too much away, however, the less you know, the better you will be. But it packs an incredible cast of characters, and this edition then, it includes all previously released DLC and some additional content as well, although I will say that is really a lot of cosmetics. Just know with this one, when you do hit the credits for the first time, the game it is just getting started. Tales of Arise to close us out this week, it's 66% off a new low price, it's one of the best action RPGs of recent memory. The story, two characters from different worlds, they come together to fight against an evil empire, each with their own reasons. That's just the beginning though, as we touch on a number of themes alongside an incredible cast. It's just really mature and confident writing on display here, and that's then helped by stunning visuals and music, and a unique combat system which is real time, but it still has a design that allows for strategy. Like any RPG, you need to watch a full review, I can't really sum it up in a paragraph, but I do not think you can go wrong at this price, and for me it would be a must buy title. And that's the video down, will you be adding anything to the library this week, let us know in the comments with that. Hit subscribe, join us here for PS5 reviews, VR2 content, and deals weekly, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.